This is my first 10 days on the new Svartalvime Premium Mod Map on Ark Survival Ascended. This new map comes with some breathtaking views, plenty of new landmarks, dwarven ruins, occupied dwarven villages, and occupied dwarven forts. Also, this map does not include flyers. There will be no flying dinos in this map. That means this entire journey will have to be trekked on foot. So with that being said, let's jump into it. In character creation, I went for a slim, sleek, fast kind of look. You know, pretty skinny, not too much muscle, no hair. I went for a bit of a minimalistic style. So once I got that done, I went ahead and spawned on the easier southeastern part of the map because I'm a bit of a p And waking up naked around a bunch of carnivorous dinosaurs doesn't sound like the best way to wake up from a nap on a beach. So, with that being said, scratch my implant, and let's get started. First thing I do, like everybody else, start grabbing resources off the ground. A little bit of scavenging going on. Gonna have to make some primitive tools. Gotta punch some trees. You know, like how our primitive ancestors had to do it. After getting hundreds of splinters in my knuckles, it was finally time to build a pickaxe. Once I got my pickaxe, started breaking rocks, and more rocks, and big shiny gold looking rocks. Then I decided to get some meat and hide from the local wildlife. After that, some really scary music started to play. I look around. And it's just an egg snatcher, so nothing to be scared of. After all that, it got really cold really fast, and I hadn't built a shelter yet. So I tried as fast as I could to build a campfire, and I just wasn't quick enough. So let's try that again. Nope, that didn't work either. So after dying more times than I would like to admit... I did eventually get back to my dead body with the clothes and the campfire just as the weather got warmer. After getting dressed, I decided it was time to go find a friend. And a friend I found, and the only thing he wanted was a couple of berries. Hello, Sir Chops. So now with my new friend, we go hopping around, looking around, looking for new friends. And here I found another one. This one took a little bit longer, but I did eventually get him tamed. We'll call him Little Guy. And just as I was making a bunch of new friends, some big bully decided to come and ruin the party. So me and little guy had to run off. Luckily, there was another Moss Chops there to sacrifice himself so we could get away. After a while, I finally built my first shelter. Not anything to brag about, but it did keep me warm at night and gave me a place to put all my stuff. Once the sun came back up, I figured me and Sir Chops and little guy could go clean the area of all the threats. Luckily, there weren't many, but there was the saber tooth, which ended up making a great snack for my Sir Chops. After that, me and Sir Chops went exploring for a while when I saw what looked like a house. After investigating a little further, I found it was a village, but it looked like everybody moved out, so I don't know what happened. Um, I thought there were supposed to be NPCs, but I didn't see any in this village, so I don't know if it's just empty or if they aren't there at the moment. On my way back home, I tamed a Parasaur, which I thought would be better for getting around on since it's faster than Sir Chops. But that didn't last very long because the Carno from earlier came back and killed my Parasaur. I tried to save it, but I then realized it was a level 145 Carno. So I ditched Sir Chops and tried to save myself. But, that didn't work either.
After losing some of my tames, I decided it was probably time to build a pin to keep my tames protected. So I got finished with that and I got this nice little pin here. I also added a few walls onto my base to make it a little stronger. Decided to go and get some more resources to beef up my base because I figured the thatch base was not going to last very long. While doing that, I found this guy. We'll call him Chapo. Much better. I worked through the base through the night and was able to build some large storage containers so I could start transferring all my stuff into those. That'll make storing items so much easier. I got some stone pieces for my base from a drop. I figured those would be good to put on the front. Anything attacks from the front, that should be pretty well protected. I got another Moss Chops. Me and Chopo decided to go exploring. I saw this glowing light from my base at night and I wanted to see what it was and it was lava, which was pretty interesting because I had never seen lava uh, outside of a cave on the island, but the island's also the only map I've ever played on, so maybe that's normal, I don't know. Then I decided I needed a better tame, something a little more powerful. So I went to see if this guy wanted to be friends. He was pretty reluctant at first. It took quite a bit of convincing. After going back and forth for a little bit, he decided to sleep on it. Once he slept on it, he decided, yeah, we'd make pretty good friends. We'll call him Tristan. Tristan the Trike. Later, I decided to go exploring, and I ended up picking a fight with a Microraptor. I thought it would be a pretty easy battle. Um, unfortunately, this Microraptor was pretty high level, and I underestimated uh, its capabilities. And yeah, I died to a Microraptor. Pretty embarrassing, but that's okay, because I came back, I brought Choppo with me, and we made quick work of the Microraptor. Once I did that, I hurried up inside to grab all my stuff. After that, we headed home. I put Chapo back in the pin. And while we were out exploring, I did see some buildings off in the distance on an island. Interesting. I wonder what's out there. I took the Parasaur out to try to get a better look at the map. I hadn't really seen much uh, since there's no flyers on this map. It's hard to get a good view of the place. You have to try to go somewhere really high. So we did that. Then I jumped off. Luckily we both survived. Barely. I almost fell off the cliff there. That was pretty scary. To get to that island where I saw those buildings I knew I was going to need a tame that was good at swimming. None of my tames could bring me there, and I didn't think I would make it swimming due to the Megalodons. So I saw this Carbonemus and I thought, oh, that'll be perfect. And as a bonus, this Carbonemus had two baby turtles with it. After giving the little guys some food, we decided to go and explore the island. And here I found my first ever interaction with an NPC in art. 
I thought my Carbonimus might quick work of these guys. Unfortunately, that wasn't the case. These guys are actually pretty strong. So after a little back and forth, these guys were just not going down. And I knew it was getting risky, so I decided to bail. If my Carbonimus dies, I would be stranded on that island, and I certainly wasn't going to kill those NPCs by myself. So we headed back to shore, and I decided to continue exploring. While out exploring, I happened to run across this Sarko. Sarkos are one of my favorite tames, so I was super excited to see the Sarko. And gosh, they're so terrifying looking. I mean, just look at that giant crocodile coming at you. I mean, could you imagine how scary that would be in real life? Anyways, luckily they're pretty slow, so pretty easy to tame once you get them to crawl onto land. And just like that, the Sarko was sleeping. I gave the Sarko some food, and before you knew it, I had tamed the Sarko. We'll call him Gator. Me and Gator went exploring the waters around this new map. My favorite part about Sarkos, or why they're my favorite tame, is because they just swim so much faster than anything else in the water. An Itchy would probably be the only thing that comes close, but it just makes it so much easier to explore. And there I got my first piece of Ascendant gear, and that is an Ascendant Carno saddle, which I knew was gonna be huge. I desperately needed a better tame. While me and Gator were out exploring, I also found what looked like a cave. So I explored through the darkness, and sure enough, it was a cave. I didn't even know this map had caves, so that was pretty cool to find. I went ahead and marked that on my map, and now I've got a bunch more of the map explored. But I did realize, unlike the island, this is landlocked, so the water was not going to give get me all around the map, unfortunately. So I decided to bring the Sarko back, put him in the pin. Maybe we could use him for later. I did eventually get an Iguanodon, which was a little bit faster. And then I used that Iguanodon to go exploring for a Carno. I did find a few, finally. There's what I want right there. There was a lot of dangerous dinos in the area, but I was able to eventually take this one down without a problem. One of the best parts about Iguanodons is you can shoot off of their back. This makes taming so much easier. And just like that, the Karna was sleeping. Since there's a lot of danger in the area, I decided to build walls around the Karno so nothing would come and eat it. But I didn't bring quite enough, so I decided to tear it down and make it bigger. And then I heard another Karno. That was terrifying. I've got to hurry up here. I knew I didn't have much time. Whatever was occupying that Carno wasn't going to live for very long. So I hurry up and threw up some new walls. I tried frantically to close this gap here. And just in the nick of time, I got it done. And now the Carno was after me. I had to bail on my tame, but I figured it would be safe while it was walled in. I went out to get some meat for my new Carno. And I heard one of the scariest noises in Ark you could ever possibly hear. So I looked around. Where was it coming from? 
For those that know, when you hear that noise, running generally doesn't help. But since I didn't see anything, I decided to just get out of the area. Fortunately, I was able to make it back, and we got the Carnell all tamed up. I went ahead and picked up my structures, and home we head. On our way home, I saw something else. Another Carno, all by himself, in an area that's pretty much safe. There wasn't any other dangerous dinos around, so I thought this would be a lot easier to tame. So I constructed a little trap, one that's worked for me in the past, but the Carno got a little bit sidetracked here. That's okay, because he still came into the trap. And just like that, he was trapped. Doesn't get any easier than that. So, about 30 arrows later, he went to sleep. After a while, this raptor came out of nowhere, and it wasn't like a raptor that I'd seen before. I'd never seen a raptor like this. After further inspection, I noticed it was a berserk raptor, which I'm assuming is just the alpha version on this map. But I thought we could outrun it, but I was wrong about that. So once I realized we couldn't do that, I thought me and my new Carno could take on the Berserk Raptor. But this Raptor was way too strong, so I decided to try to bail. Unfortunately, I wasn't quite fast enough to save the Carno. I was able to outrun it on the Iguanodon, though. And when I came back, the Carno was tamed up and ready to go. Now just to head back home. On our way back home, I finally got eyes on the creature that was making the noise that I heard earlier. The Carcadonis. One of the scariest creatures in all of Ark. So we had to take a different path home, but that's okay because we did make it home safe. And I decided to take the Carno out to get some easy levels. Finally, a fast and powerful tame. This is what I'd been waiting for. After a long day of killing innocent creatures, I had gained quite a few levels, but I get bored pretty easily. So I decided I wanted to go out and start exploring again. While out exploring, I found another cave, or at least what looked like a cave. I'm not entirely sure what this is yet, but it loads in like a cave, and it's under the ground, but it's not like any cave that I've seen before. There were structures in this cave, and a bridge. So I decided to go in and inspect a little bit further. However, knowing that my Iguanodon wasn't going to last long if I ran into trouble, I decided it was probably best to head back. But I will say, this cave looks awesome. The worst part about exploring at night is that you can't see some of the small dinos. So when I got attacked by this Microraptor, it took me completely by surprise. Carnos, terror birds, Everything just attacked me all at once. I mean, I had no chance of survival. Unfortunately, I had all my best gear on me when I died, which was pretty dumb, but regardless, I had to go get my stuff back. And also, unfortunately, I ran out of memory and stopped recording after this. I did have two failed attempts getting my stuff back, but I did eventually get it back. And on my way back to base, there were two raptors near my base. I tamed those, 
And once I got the recording figured out and started playing again, I got those breeding. After a while of breeding, I ended up having quite a few raptors. I also found another lower level Carno that I used to breed with the Carno that I got earlier. So now I'm breeding Carnos and Raptors. I'm making a little army. So now that I've got some pretty good tames, and I'm feeling pretty comfortable, it's time to put this Sarko to some use, and also these Carbonemuses. It's time to head back to the island and get my revenge. This is the day I've been waiting on since I first step foot on the island. And this is one of the big reasons why I wanted to get a Sarko. The only challenge here is to get all these Carbonemuses across the water safely. Last time I came to the island, there was an Alpha Megalodon. And Carbonemuses can swim pretty well, but they can't outswim a Megalodon. The first time I went to the island, I got pretty lucky and I didn't aggro the Alpha Megalodon. Unfortunately, as soon as I see it, it gets aggroed on me and it's headed right for me. Now I can swim out, I can outswim the Megalodon pretty easily with the Sarko, but the Carbonemuses trailing behind me are not as fortunate. They can't swim that fast. So I just gotta hope that they can make it through the hits and the bites of the Megalodon. For a second I decide, oh, maybe I could, maybe we could all take it on and then I, I decided probably not. So we're just gonna have to try to swim across without dying. The Carbonemuses are getting hit with some pretty heavy blows, but I think they're going to be okay. They're pretty high level also. I think they can withstand this. I whistle for the Carbonemuses to go on land. And fortunately for me, they all made it safe and sound. As soon as we get on land, the battle begins. The Dwarven soldiers attack, and we attack back. Like I said, these guys are pretty strong. I mean, three Carbonemuses over level 100, one's over level 200, and a Sarko, and these guys still aren't going down easy. I don't know what kind of health or what kind of armor these guys have, but they can take a lot of hits. I mean, all my Carbonemuses are attacking, Sarko's attacking, and it's taking quite a lot to take these guys down. Eventually, they do go down, so we won the battle, but we did not win the war. I still have to figure out how to get inside this place. I couldn't see a way in from the front, but I tried to get a look inside and I couldn't see much. So I decided to scope around the area, see if there was some secret way in. It looks like this place is pretty, pretty well walled off. While going around, when I almost got back to the front, I noticed there were still some more soldiers on the island. I was able to fight one off pretty easily, actually. Unfortunately, I was having a lot harder time with the next one, and I heard him break some of my armor. I got scared and took off. So I ran for the water. Little did I know these guys could swim, though. I thought they were on the island, and they didn't come off the island because they couldn't swim, but apparently they can swim. So he follows me through the water, and I make it back to my Carbonemuses, and we take care of him. And the Sarko comes too, he wants a couple bites. And then out of the blue, another soldier ran, ran up. I don't know where this guy came from, he must have been stuck back there on a rock or something. But, he fell just like the other. And now I'm stuck in the same situation. I still don't know how to get in this place. 
But I did just notice that these guys actually drop loot. I don't know what this is, but it looks pretty useful. So I'm going to go ahead and grab all of this. It's weird they drop a lot of arrows, but I didn't see any of them shooting arrows. Like that one had a crossbow, but they weren't using the crossbow. So looking around at the fort, I had come up with a plan. I'm gonna grapple hook my way in this place. So I went back to base, made some grapple hooks, and then I came back. I was worried that if I go in, I may not be able to get back out. So I went ahead and left all my good gear with my Sarko. This is more of just exploring than it is actually trying to take the place over. So I find a good spot. I throw my grapple hook and let's see what we can find. Yep, just as I feared, there are more soldiers in here. But now I can actually get a look at the place. can't quite see much from up here, so I decided to try to lower down slowly. And then I decided to take a run for it. Take a look around. There's a lot more soldiers in here than I thought. I see this little building over here, and I decide I'm going to try to get inside. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem like the door's open, so I don't know exactly what what you're supposed to do in here, or how to get out or get anywhere, but I almost died here, so in a panic, I just Shot a grappling hook at the wall. I thought I could hang here while I thought of a plan. My head's pretty beat up, as you can tell. But unfortunately, they hit me from above, and I died. The worst part is my tames are stranded on the base, and I don't have any tames that can get me back over there. I need to come up with a plan, and I think I've got one. I know how to get over there with no tames. But to do it, I'm going to need some resources. So resources I got. I went chopping trees. Getting thatch. And collecting fiber. It felt like day one all over again. After a little bit, I had enough to make the raft. The raft would allow me to get over to the island without having to worry about the megalodons. It would also allow me to put the carbonemuses on the raft to get them back off the island onto shore without having to worry about the megalodon also. So once I headed back to the beach, I threw the raft in the water and headed to the island. A short trip later, we made it to the island. Luckily, my tames were still here. The soldiers didn't come out and mess with my tames. I was able to get all my stuff back. So I put all my clothes on, got my tames aboard the raft, got stuck right here floating in the air a little bit. <laughs> Got out of that. Set my Sarko to follow. Jumped back onto my Carbonemus by accident. Floated across the Carbonemuses and the Sarko. Got back onto the raft. Took the saddle off so I could actually operate the raft. Defeated, but optimistic, I headed home with my Carbonemuses and my Sarko in tow. Once we got back to shore, I decided to take another look at the island. See if there was anything I missed. Something I could see from a slightly higher vantage point. Unfortunately, I couldn't see a whole lot. I'm going to need a new strategy to get in this place and defeat all the soldiers. I'll worry about that for another day. Once I got back home, 
I finished the final 10th day by continuing to breed my raptors and my carnos. I want to build a small army, something that can protect me while I explore this entire map on foot. And to finish the day off, I got this really good drop. It came with an Ascendant Chitin chest plate, which is the best chest plate I've gotten so far. I haven't gotten very lucky with armor drops from supply drops, so I was pretty excited about this. And that, guys, wraps up my first 10 days on Savartalfheim on Ark Survival Ascended. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next video of my next 10 days. Thanks for watching.